from the Mighty Mac Week in Review crew. I'm Dave Monero, joined by my partner Britt Merkel on this St. Paddy's Day edition here on GoMightyMax.com. We had another busy week of sports this week. Unfortunately, though, baseball and softball suffered losses to Mother Nature. But, Dave, that didn't stop our lacrosse teams from hosting games at Draper Wall Stadium. The men took on Alvernia. Let's take a look. In the first half, facing a 3-2 deficit, Doug Hughes' shot fires off the post, but the Max pass it around and find Riley Cox on the wing, who fires a shot into the top corner to tie the game 3-3. IU would take a 4-3 lead into the locker room. Goalie Brian Cullen makes one of his 12 saves on the afternoon on this low shot to keep Immaculata within striking distance after Alvernia scored four consecutive goals to start the second half. Facing a three-goal deficit, the Mighty Max needed a spark in the fourth quarter to come back and Tyler Black got it started when he comes from behind the net to score his first goal of the day and make it a 7-5 game. Now trailing 8-5 with seven minutes to go, Tyler Black finds Jake Kemble who uses one more pass to Sam Zingaro who scores his second goal of the season to make it an 8-6 game. With less than three minutes to go, Kyle Roach gets his first career assist to Tyler Black, who scores while falling to the ground to make it 8-7, but the Max last second effort came up just short in the one goal loss. The Max will fall to Misericordia on Saturday, but will look to play two games this week, Wednesday at Bryn Athen and Saturday here at home at Draper Wall Stadium. Switching over to women's lacrosse, they lost to Albright on Tuesday here at home on Draper Wall Stadium, but look to bounce back hosting Richard Stockton. Let's peep those highlights. In the first half, trailing 5-1, Danielle Lopez makes it look easy as she takes it herself from the midfield, and that's one of her two goals on the day to make it a 5-2 game. To start off the second half, Rosemarie Reitman carried the ball from the right wing, goes around the net, shoots and scores to make it a 6-3 game, recording the second goal of her career. Another freshman, this team's got a bunch of them, this time Hannah Varekia shows off her speed, scores the second of her back-to-back -back goals to keep the Max in the game, the score of 10-6. After Richard Stockton built their lead up to 12-6 midway through the second half, Shannon Neal dishes to Kelly Lapp, cutting to the goal, and she scores one of her two goals on the day to make it 12-7, but the Ospreys would go on a four-goal run and beat the Mighty Max by a final score of 16-7. The Max are going to start conference play Wednesday night at 7 by hosting Notre Dame of Maryland at Draper Wall Stadium. Make sure you come out for that one, and they travel on the road at Newman on Saturday. And the men's tennis team is set to get underway this afternoon with a match at Alvernia. Dave caught up with senior Will DeSantis and sophomore Mike Griffin about the upcoming season. I'm joined today by two <laughs> members on the Immaculata men's tennis team, Will DeSantis, Mike Griffin. Guys, thanks for coming on. Thanks, thanks for having you. me. So the first match is actually later this afternoon. The tennis season about to be underway. Can you give us some thoughts on the upcoming season? Yes. You know, we had the same team coming back. We graduated no one. No one left. Uh, we didn't have a very successful season last year, but we have the same team coming back. We have a new guy, Pat Tiano, coming in. Hopefully he's going to play number two, bump some people down. So we're going to be stronger as a team. We started out, we, we were picked six in the CSEC, which, you know, I think is pretty low for us, considering we do have everyone coming back. But, you know, just we've been preparing. We crushed it yesterday. We're going to crush it today. We're going to crush it tomorrow. Okay, you got revenge on your minds for this Absolutely. season. Absolutely. Trying to show people who you are. Exactly. And, Mike, you guys have a coach, Coach Scott, He's known around campus, a funny guy, a bold personality. Can you tell us a little bit about him and how he is at the head of this program? I think Scott's the greatest coach you could ever have in that <laughs> position. He has great character. He's comical. He keeps everything loose, but at the same time, he teaches us a lot about tennis. He teaches us how to play the game the right way. He teaches us about life, goals, and he's just a great overall human being. Yeah, it seems like a great guy. And you've heard these two names before, Mike Griffin, Will DeSantis. They're actually members of the Immaculata men's basketball team. I know you guys know that. Can you tell us how basketball and tennis coincide? Because you kind of ended the playoffs and then started tennis basically the next day. So how does that coincide back and forth? Yeah, exactly. The, the next day, you know, we're done. We go home on the bus the next morning, go to class. We have tennis practice, mm -hmm. which, I mean, is cool because, you know, obviously in basketball season you're in great shape, and it's a great transition. You know, they, they transition well as far as cutting and footwork and whatnot. And, I mean, it's just, you know, another day in the life of an athlete. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. I mean, tennis season is probably the best season besides basketball, so love it out there in the springtime, hitting the ball around. Yeah. All right, guys, first match today. Make sure you come out to Immaculata University all season and watch these guys. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, Good Dave. luck Thank this you. season.
baseball and softball start up this week, depending on the weather. Hopefully they could get the games in. The baseball team is a three-game series with Marywood, while the softball team is playing Baptist Bible on Friday and playing Cedar Crest on Saturday. And congratulations to Anne Marie Barto for winning this week's IU Trivia Giveaway. Check your emails for this upcoming week's questions. Real quick before we go, Britt, do you have a prediction for March Madness starting up this week? Uh, you know, I think Kentucky might go all the way, but I would like to see an upset there. I know. I, it's tough to beat an undefeated team. I'm going to go Wildcats. I know our boss, Brett Mariani, in the background of Villanova grad, he's got his Wildcats picked to go all the way probably. I'm hoping Nova goes pretty far in the tournament too, though. We shall see the local team. Hopefully they do good. That's going to be all for this week's episode of Muddy Mac Week in Review. I'm Dave Monero. And I'm Britt Merkel. And, and go, go Max. Max.